Well, how are you guys doing? Uh, my name is Coach Wynn, and this is Coach Rose. Oh, oops, Coach Rose, and then this is Coach Collins. And we're really, really excited that you joined us for our session today. Uh, today, we're going to do a little bit of a core and also slash yoga session. Uh, so here's the thing. We have gotten to where we're sitting down a lot. And so guess what? My hope in this time is that you will be able to play Fortnite to the best of your ability without shoulder pain or back pain. How about that, right? So first and foremost, let's talk about our posture when you guys are playing on the computer or whatever, right? So our spine, we have a natural curvature to a spine right here. It's kind of lower back, middle back, and upper back, right? So what you want to do is to have your spine in a natural position in which you want, right? So oftentimes when we're on a computer screen, guess what? Our shoulders come forward, right? All of a sudden we start slouching some more, and all of a sudden we're starting to get tight hamstrings, tight uh, back, upper back shoulders and stuff like that. So what I want you guys to focus on as you are playing your Minecraft is to have your shoulders back and have a, an upright spine, right? It's going to feel awkward at first. You're like, it's not going to, that's not very, very comfortable. That's okay, but my hope is that you guys have a good posture um, through this, throughout the duration, okay? So your, your challenge for this weekend and this week is to sit upright with a good posture as you're playing your video games, watching TV. Uh, so it's going to be great, all right? So we're going to first start off our time. We're going to just do some neck uh, rolls. So you're just going to have your feet underneath your shoulders like so. Let's go ahead and gently roll your head to the right. Nice and easy. And switch directions. Good, relax, go ahead and look straight ahead. This time you guys are gonna just go ahead and go uh, try to uh, bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Gently just kind of hover over there. Get back to center. Go ahead and go the opposite way. There you go, relax. All right, from here, let's go ahead and go arms out over uh, to your side. Go ahead and get your right palm up, then your left palm behind you and back like so, all right? From here, let's go ahead and rotate. So both palms are gonna be facing out the entire time. And rotate. And rotate. Rotate. And rotate and rotate, and relax, awesome. Now from here, go ahead and get your right arm up, left palm down, and we're just gonna pulse three pulses. One, two, three, and then switch. One, two, three, and 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 switch. And relax, awesome. From here, next up, what we're gonna do is gonna go on, uh, all hands and knees. <laughs> All right, from here, let's go ahead and walk our hands forward about one step. From here, bring your head through your shoulders, bring your hips down to your heels. You should feel a stretch right down your shoulders. If you need more stretch, go ahead and bring your hips down to your heels. If not, you can bring your hips closer towards over your knees. Whatever you need to do is up to you. Awesome. From here, go ahead and relax a little bit. Keep your knees where they are, but go ahead and walk your hands to your right side. From here, go ahead and bring your head through your shoulders and you should feel this throughout your left side of your shoulder area and upper back area. This is called the latissimus dorsi or lats. Good. Relax, go ahead and bring your, back, your hands back to center. Walk your hands to the left. Same thing, head through your shoulders. Go ahead and bring your head down. If you need more stretch, bring your hips down to your heels. Good, and relax, bring your hands back to center. 
This time, go ahead and bring your right foot to your right hand if you can. This is called a mountain climber. Kind of hang out here. Stretching out the inner groin. These are areas in which get really, really tight when we're sitting down a lot. And so these are stretches in which you can do when you're watching TV and there's a commercial break or whatever it is. Yeah, bring that right foot, uh, right, yeah, right knee down to the ground again. We're going to bring your left foot to your left hand. There we go, bring that left foot back to center. Now this time what we're gonna do is go ahead and have your fingertips uh, straight ahead. You guys are gonna bring your shoulders over your fingertips gently, stretching out your wrists. Just gently. Good, back to center. This time go ahead and bring your fingertips back towards you. Now this time you guys are gonna sit your hips back down to your heels gently, stretch out those forearms. <laughs> there we go, back to center. All right, this time go ahead and one last couple stretches before we get into our ab workout. Let's go ahead and go arms out, legs out on your chest. This time you guys are gonna bring your right hand underneath your right shoulder. Now go ahead and lift up your left leg, or sorry, right leg. Fold it across your left leg while pushing onto that left uh, shoulder area, stretching out that pec area, and also your lower back. There we go, back to center. Go ahead and get your hands underneath your shoulders again. Go ahead and bring your right arm straight across or parallel or out beside you. Lift up your left leg, fold it across your right leg. Go ahead and stretch out that right shoulder and chest area. Good, back to center. Go ahead and get your hands underneath your shoulders. Then we're just gonna push up, leave your hips on the ground, stretch out your tummy. Good, back down to center and relax. All right, go ahead and stand up. We're gonna take our first water break. Uh, and then we'll get rolling with our ab workout today. So great job stretching out. So go ahead and take a water break now. Hey, welcome back from your water break. Uh, so we're gonna, just gonna explain a couple of these core workouts to you. Uh, how, did, how the rhythm is gonna go is I'm gonna explain for about 30 seconds and we're gonna do 
the actual movement for a minute, and then when uh, that 30 seconds, or that minute is up, I'm going to go ahead and explain the next movement while you guys are resting. So it's be 30 seconds, a minute, 30 seconds, a minute, 30 seconds, a minute, and then we'll go ahead and cool down at the, at the end. All right. Our first movement for today is going to be plank to dolphin. So I'm going to explain that first. So you guys are going to be in a good plank position. In a good plank position, you have, have your shoulders over your, and in line with your hips like so. Dolphin, all you're going to do is going to bring up your hips, head through your head to your elbows and then back down. Hips up and then back down, hips up and then back down, okay? So that is going to be the plank to the dolphin, all right? So let's go ahead and get set from your elbows, good plank position. We're gonna go for a minute. Now, throughout the course of this time, what we're looking for is perfect movement, so don't feel as if you need to do the entire minute. Uh, for myself, I'll probably be taking breaks within that minute as well, but I want you guys to be moving the entire duration as best as you can, all right? Let's go and get set and Plank and go. Now with the dolphin portion it is really difficult. Go ahead and just hold the plank for the entire duration like so. That's fine as well. Or you guys can come down from your knees and kind of bring your knees to your heels and then back forward. Whatever you need to do, totally awesome. There we go, 10 more seconds. And rest. Awesome, great job team. Next thing we're gonna do is just a normal push-up. Okay, so a couple options here is uh, what we're looking for is a good plank, chest to ground, elbows in, push-up. So a push-up for the entire duration. Or if you need to, you can drop, find the plank position, drop your knees to the ground. Make sure that your knees are behind your hips and the elbows in, coming down and then up. That's another option as well, all right? So it's gonna get set for push-ups. Whichever modification you need to do. And two, one, plank and go. Make sure you breathe in as you're lowering down, then breathe out as you push up. Another thing I wish you can do, lower down a good plank position, then push up from your knees, and find that plank position again. And rest. Awesome, great job team. Next thing we're gonna do is called a plank shoulder taps. So you're going to hold a plank again. So this time you're gonna get your right hand to your left shoulder, back down, left hand to your right shoulder, and then back down, okay? So we're gonna be doing shoulder taps for that plank position, like so, all right? 10 seconds. There we go, y'all, you're doing a great job. Five, three, two, one, plank, and go. Modification for this, y'all, if y'all need to, you can go from the knee, knees position, do the exact same thing. Good job, y'all. Even myself, I'm taking a break too, so it's okay for you to take a break as well. There you go, and rest. All right, great job. 
Next thing we're going to do is we're going to hold a side plank for 30 seconds per side. Okay, so for a side plank to get set up for this, have your elbow underneath your shoulder. Now your feet on top can be in front of the back foot like so, whatever you choose to do. Or you can have your feet stacked up together or behind you as well. You can have this, the opposite arm on your hip and you just kind of hold this side plank position as best you can. And also if you need to, you can come up for about a couple seconds, back down, come up and then back down, whatever you need to do, okay? So 30 seconds per side. Let's go ahead and get set up on your right elbow. And two, one, and plank. There you go, rest. All right, gonna switch over to your left elbow. Hands on your hips, ready? Two, one, and plank. Good rest. All right, next up, what we're gonna do is bicycles. All right, so you guys are gonna love this one. So, you guys are gonna be in a good position here. You gotta lay down on your back, hit, knees underneath your hips, arms behind your head. You're gonna have this right elbow to your left knee, back to center. Left to elbow to your right knee, back to center. Okay, so we're gonna do this for one minute. I know it's gonna be a long time, but you know what? You guys got it, all right? All right, ready? Three, two, one, and go. Remember, go at your own pace. Get in, rest. All right, next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do plank into downward facing dog. So what this is gonna look like, gonna be a good plank position, except from the elbows, instead of doff, and you guys gonna just push up through your shoulders, back down to center, push up, back down, downward facing dog, back down, okay? So we're gonna move through that for about a minute. Again, what we want to look for is perfect movement. Make sure that you guys are stabilizing your back with your shoulders and line with your hips. All right, let's go and get set. Two, one, and plank. Go ahead. Modification jaw, you can hold a downward facing dog, good plank position, or drop to your knees. Then bring your hips to your heels. Then back to the center, hips to your heels, back to center, whatever you need to do. There we go, and rest. Awesome, last move before we take a water break. 
what we're gonna do is just lateral walks now with, from the plank position. So you guys are gonna just walk to the side, walk to the opposite side, walk back and forth for one minute, okay? A uh, couple options here. You can leave your knees where they are. And just go ahead and walk to the left, back to center, walk to the right, back to center, okay? So those are options there. All right, let's, still in a break time, about 10 seconds. How are we doing, coaches? Awesome. <laughs> Come on. On behalf of the teachers, we absolutely cannot wait to see you back in a normal classroom again. Um, but one, let you know that we, we're thinking about you, we care about you, and please uh, reach out if you need anything. All right, last thing. Lateral walks. Get set, plank position, ready and go. Just back and forth, a couple steps here and there. Feel free to take a break if you need to. Good job, y'all, halfway. And rest. Whew. Great job, team. We're gonna go ahead and go into a water break and then we'll go ahead and come back with our cool down stretches. See you in a bit. Hey, welcome back to uh, from your water break. Really, really grateful. We know that you are working hard and we're really excited that, to see how you guys can persevere and endure uh, through the summer and then also coming back into the fall. So we're gonna cool down now. We're just gonna do simple feet together, hinge at the hips. Go ahead and just let your arms hang. If you can touch your toes, go ahead. If not, you can kind of hang out mid shin, touch the ground, it's awesome too. Try to keep a slight knee bend, but not too crazy and stretch out those hamstrings. Good, relax. Good, stand up. All right, from here, let's go ahead and go to the lunge position, all the way down, rest that back knee gently underneath that hip. This front foot, make sure that it is uh, Right in line with your ankle is to where you can see your toe. All right, from here, just gonna interlace your fingers up overhead. Then go ahead and reach back towards that back uh, hip, the right back hip. Try to get that hip flexor. All right, from here, go ahead, uh, go ahead and get that front knee towards your toes. Get more of a stretch in that hip flexor. There you go, relax. Knees back underneath your hips. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Left leg in front into our lunge position. Interlace your fingers up overhead. Go ahead and reach back towards that back left hip.
Nice job. Now with that left knee, that front knee, go ahead and bring them towards your toes. Get more stretch in that hip flexor. There you go, relax. Let's go ahead and go hands and knees. All right, from here, go ahead and get your right hand behind your head like into like the little crunch. Go ahead and bring that right elbow to that left wrist, then back up towards the ceiling. Go ahead and we're gonna do eight of those, that's one. Go ahead and do seven more. What we're doing is we're getting some movement into that middle part of your spine. That can get really, really tight from sitting down all the time. Good job, once you have finished with seven, go ahead and stand by on all hands and knees. Go ahead and switch arms, so right arm behind your head to the half crunch. Go ahead and get your left elbow to your left, sorry, right wrist and up overhead. Yeah, go ahead and get eight of those. Yeah, once you get A, go ahead and stand by on hands and knees. All right, from here, what are you guys gonna do? Two more things, and we're gonna just go ahead and bring your shoulder blades together, then shoulder blades apart. Shoulder blades together, shoulder blades apart. Keep your elbows locked. Hands pushed down into the ground. There we go, let's go ahead and get six more. There we go after that. Once you're done, go ahead and lay down on the ground. Hands underneath your shoulders. Last stretch before we're done for today. Yeah, and go ahead and come up. Keep your hips on the ground. Stretch out your stomach. And relax. All right, go ahead and stand up, y'all. All right, great job today. Really, really grateful that you guys joined in today. Again, my name is Coach Wynn. This is Coach Rose, and this is Coach Collins. And uh, looking forward to seeing you back next week. Take care, and have a great weekend.